Today we'll be going over how to add an image to the body of a generic page. When you're in your editor, you're going to start with putting your cursor where you want the image to go. So I'd like the image to go above this intro text for the Office of Diversity and Inclusion. So I'm going to place my cursor above. The first step is to um, go up to the templates menu. It is beneath um, body edit summary and it's beside body text. It looks like a little notepad. I'm going to click on templates and I'm going to see at first um, a few templates that are available for you to add to your page that are pre-made, but I'm going to focus on the photo with caption. Um, this is typically what you would use to take up the middle column um, of a generic page. And an example of that would be under athletics and fitness. This page right here. Here's the right promo, here's the left navigation, and here's the body. And this photo takes up the full width of that page and it has a gray box with a caption underneath. I'm going to go back and I'm going to add one of those. So you, that is located under photo with caption. If you want a smaller photo, you can choose photo with caption floated and this floats it to the left of the page um, and it is a smaller photo. Uh, but we're going to focus on the larger photo. So I'm going to click photo with caption and it's going to generate a gray box that tells you exactly how big the picture is supposed to be. And when you get to this point, you should already have a picture ready to go that's formatted that's 450 pixels wide exactly. The height can vary, but you want to be 450 pixels wide. So you have that saved on your computer and at this point you just click right into the box, turn it blue, uh, and place your cursor where this little colorful icon is and it's called image and click. This is going to take me to an image properties menu where I can search and browse the file server uh, where I'm going to upload the picture. So I'm going to click on browse server. And here it takes me to the repository of all the files that are stored on Drupal and on emerson.edu. So I'm going to start up at the root always uh, to make sure that I can get my bearings and see where I am. When you're dealing with photos, you need to always be in generic photos. And it's going to show you a bunch of departmental folders. And according to what department you're in, that's where your photos should be stored. I'm Web Services in Communications and Marketing. And we are technically under About Emerson. So I'm going to choose About Emerson. And here you go. Here are the pictures that are stored in the About Emerson section of the website. Uh, you'll see that. The first uh, words are the actual department, administration, and then um, the rest is actually telling the user what the photo is about. And make sure that your naming convention follows that. Make sure it's very distinct and you always say what department you're in before. So I'm in web services, so I've had uh, some sample photos saved on my desktop. So I'm going to go over here to upload and I'm going to choose a file from my computer. Here I see I have two. So I have web services tree sample. So this is telling you what department and what the image is of. So I'm going to click and I'm going to see that the dimensions are 450 pixels uh, by 300, which is typically a good height if you want uh, some text on the page as well. So 450 pixels, say open. And then you're not done, you have to first say upload. There you have it. I'm going to make sure this is selected and then go up to insert file. You can ignore this little create thumbnails uh, boxes. Those are not relevant to you. So you would say insert file and there it is. And alternative text, make sure you remember to always put what the image is of. Uh, it sounds silly, but when for some reason the image doesn't load, a red box appears or a red X and you want to make sure that the user knew what the image was at least supposed to be of. So I'm going to put tree and then you can ignore all of this down here. Um, you don't have to worry about border, H space, B space alignment because it's in a template and that's the beauty of a template. It's done for you. So I'm going to hit OK. Um, if you wanted to link the image to something, you could just click link and place the URL here. But I'm just going to hit OK, and here I am. There's my image, and I'm going to fill in the caption. I'm going to say tree in spring. And it's simply a matter of deleting the caption text and adding your own. So that is how you add an image to the body of a generic page. Again, if you wanted a smaller image that floats over to the left, you would simply go up to the template menu again and choose instead photo with caption floated and follow the same set of instructions.